Louis Gohmert tried to explain why we should not let gay people in the military, and this turned out to be an instant Gohmert classic. And I've had people say, hey, you know, there's nothing wrong with, uh, uh, you know, gays in the military. Look at the Greeks. Well, you know, they did have uh, people come along who they loved. It was the same sex and would would give them massages before they went into the battle. But you know what? It's a different it's a different kind of fighting. It's a different kind of war. And if you're sitting around getting massages all day, ready to go in the big planned battle, then you're not going to last very long. It's guerrilla fighting. Uh, you are going to be ul- ultimately vulnerable to terrorism. And, uh, you know, if that's what, what you started doing in the military like the Greeks did, as people have said, Louis, you got to understand, you don't even know your history. Oh, yes, I do. I know exactly. Yeah. He's my favorite. He's my favorite. <laughs> you know, I tell all these people when you're letting gays in the military, and you can't have that in the Greek days. They was getting massages. Yeah, you don't want them getting massages, getting jerked off before they go into battle. You want to get jerked off before they go into battle? I don't want them getting jerked off before they go into battle. <laughs> There's not even a coherent thought in there. <laughs> Uh, they said back in the Greek days, uh, you have massages, gay massages, before they go into battle. Why wouldn't they? Today, we can't have that because it's guerrilla warfare. As if that's a point. Like, back then, they had it was a different kind of fighting. Today, it's more guerrilla warfare. For guerrilla warfare, you don't have massages and happy endings. For guerrilla warfare, you need Cleveland steamers. You need a dirty Sanchez for guerrilla warfare. That's what the troops should have before they go into battle. He's just so much fun. Here's a radical idea, Louie. How about we only let people in the military, man or woman, whoever can uh, meet the physical requirements and the endurance requirements and to go through training, so on and so forth. That's the only thing that I give a fuck about. I don't give a fuck uh, what their sexuality is any more than I give a fuck about what the color of their hair is or... Uh, or if they shave their pubes. I don't give a shit. None of that other stuff is relevant. None of it is relevant. Their race isn't relevant. Their religion isn't relevant. None of it is relevant other than, hey, do you meet the requirements or not meet the requirements in terms of uh, the physicality of the situation? That's it. And can you get through training? That's it. That's all I care about. But these guys, they can't help themselves because they have homosexuality on the brain. So everything is... Uh, we got to try to... F- they're, they're not worthy. They're not equal. Try to put them aside and not uh, treat them like other people because, I don't know, I have this perception that all gay people are effeminate, all effeminate people are going to make a situation, going to make people weaker, or whatever. It's just over-the-top uh, stereotypes on top of stereotypes on top of stereotypes, and it'd be fine if they just believed it, but they don't just believe it. They want to implement it in terms of policy. They'd be wrong for believing it, but hey, it's a free country. You believe whatever you want. But it's a problem when you start implementing it and you try to build policy off of it. But the only good news is that <laughs> it's Louis Gohmert. Nobody takes him seriously anyway. And he just went on for an extended period of time talking about massages and gay hand jobs in old school Greece.